Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I am quite excited because I'm going to show you a product which is designed by me and you can purchase to create home cinema setup easily and very efficiently with a good price. So why am I very close to a tripod? Actually, the product that I'm going to show you in my earlier videos, I showed you one bad product, which I had to use it because no one built the product that I actually need. So I built it myself. This is the first product. It will be available under the brand called Dark, which is a Turkish brand, which is where I live in Turkey. We are in the middle of Europe and Asia. So we have the both world advantages, the experience and the knowledge of the Europe, maybe some something more sometimes depending on the situation and also the price advantage of the asia so best of both worlds good product good design and also good price so you will find this very very affordable compared to other things in the market and it will do three times four times much more things than regular stand and stands in the market that cannot do for you which I will show you in a minute. This is basically a very good build quality, good painted uh, tray, as you can see. So it's quite a big tray. You will see the information at the description, the size of it, the height of it. Uh, it is around one centimeter of depth, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter of depth, which I will show you. It also holds laptops quite good. So it can be used in many situations. I will demonstrate it to you. So first use is a projector like the home cinema channel requires. What you have to do is you have to own a tripod for this to use it. And it will be compatible with any kind of quarter inch uh, standard tripod mount. So you can put any tripod. The only thing that you need to be careful is total weight. Just know your weight of your projection or anything you will put underneath or above your projection, like a console, like a soundbar, like anything underneath or above, depending on your situation. So right now I'm securely locked and we have strengthened area around here and we have no, in the middle of it, no screws, anything. Everything is perfectly flat and the paint is like a car paint. You will see in the detail shots. So only thing that I left have to do is just put it in the rails and stick it in and lock it down. So it is fixed. As you can see right now, I have a ring. I don't want to hit it, with my ring. So it can hold pretty much any projector unless it fits inside of its size, which I can basically show you the Optoma is a quite big projector and it is inside a little bit small. Why I have created this product is the reason behind it, because there are a lot of uh, tripods or setups to handle the projectors, but they don't move like this one. OK, I can move it anywhere I want. So with that setup, I can create ultra short throw style, low angle projections with short throw projectors or even for the long throw projectors, I can project quite with any angle. And I can adjust the height quite a bit. Like if I go like this, it is nearly my chest level. I'm a 172, so one, uh, one meter 72 centimeter kind of guy. I'm not too long, but let's just talk, talk about this. Like if I put the legs extra, I can put it like uh, probably two meters range. So for two meters height, I can project anywhere. If you need to, Project from high levels, you can create with this and also this tripod, of course. This is a slick and the model is Pro 5000X, which is a quite good tripod. I'm a professional photographer over 15 years. In case you're watching this video, this is the first video of your uh, visit to this video channel. So I can put it down and I can put many things on it. Let's just show you with a couple of products. In my earlier videos, I've shown you I have a console, Xbox One X. I need to make it flatter. So Xbox One X is not a small thing and it's quite heavy. So I can put Xbox One X or PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm not going to talk about PlayStation 5 because it's not a flat thing. 
I can put Xbox One X and I can put Optima UHD 35. Look at this thing. This thing is quite big. And look at this. The Xbox One X just barely, barely holds it on it. Still, we have a room of three fingers of each side and two fingers on the front, kind of two or 1.6 fingers at the back. So this is a quite big tray and you can put many projectors. Uh, I'm, by the way, I'm counting these spaces from the Xbox, not from the Optoma. Optoma is a little bit of on the front, on the back, but Optoma is a quite big projector. So you can put many home cinema projectors in this. But if you're going to go big and if you need big products, you can write down to us. But depending on the demand, we will be upgrading this design. We have also another maybe two tray design. If this will be loved by you, we will create another setup to lower uh, like a two levels of products. So you can put your projector and up above or down below and you can put your audio setup like a probably a deck, audio deck, amplifier, small amplifier or mid-size amplifier, or kind of like a sound bar setup. You can create your sound setup and projection in the same stand and you can move the create an angle for it. Maybe you would like to hide some of the stuff. You will be thinking all these designs and create solutions in the future, hopefully. So depending on your needs, it can be upgradable, but in the future, this is right now the best product in the market. So it doesn't bend. So I can put side by side a PlayStation 5 and a LED projector because LED projectors are smaller and I can put one small LED projector and PlayStation 5 or Xbox uh, Series X, Series S, new generation uh, console and also a LED projector. Or I can use with Epson style new generation LED projectors are some of them are big. Like I remember not the Epson, but sorry, the ViewSonic has LED projectors and they are quite like big not like small. So you can also use any kind of LED big style projectors. I know some of you might think that LED projectors are getting smaller and they have one screw for to try about, but this is not the same thing. This is a tray and you can do many things. So if you have a big projector, which has normally one, two, three, or four, five or six holes, or you have like created, uh, you want to change your setup, with your old projector, you can definitely use this and the cost is pretty quite low. Believe me, when you click the link down below, you'll get what I mean. So it is the cheapest product that you can buy and it's build quality. Definitely, it's not bending and the paint is quite good. We look every detail and the finish, you'll be happy with the result, believe me. So this is the first uh, setup and it is quite big and heavy, chunky setup. Today, I put 10 kilos on it and it handled pretty wild, like no movement, no flex, whatever. I put dumbbells, steel dumbbells, and you'll be seeing those dumbbells in the product description, but that's not just finished. So I have, that is just the start of what you can use with this. This is my 14 inch Asus, Asus uh, Zephyrus work laptop, okay? with the AMD 5800H CPU and uh, NVIDIA RTX 3050 uh, GPU, it's quite a good thing. Let's just take a look at this. This is right now where the height that I can use, let's just turn like this and make it better for you, just like this. Uh, one of the legs are not in the on the carpet zone. Okay, right now it's flat. Just look at this. But if I'm not happy with this, I can make it little up. And of course, I can make little angled. And also my laptop has silicone legs like many laptops do. So I can just turn it around. Hey, look at my screen. Or if any kind of presentation, if I have two of these, I can put the projection here and I can put my laptop here. I will definitely in the minute, in a minute, I can install two projections or two stands with this tray, two uh, tripods, one computer, one projection. I can project what I want and make my demonstration and I can take my stuff and get out. Just probably one laptop bag and two of tripods with the bags. That's it. So 
of course, the projection, if you're carrying the projection, that's another bag, but you can create quite portable projection setup. And also you'll be like doing uh, surveys and stuff, just random people asking questions and taking the information they tell you, like in the street, just you want to make a survey. That's just, you can stop and open the tripod and just write down with your laptop. Or if uh, you don't have like, uh, if you're trying to show people, demonstrate stuff just without any kind of uh, projection, just a presentation, if you don't have custom stand for it, like a school, like a cinema, like a theatrical stage, if you don't have a custom stage for you behind it, like a microphone, you can use this. Definitely, this is an easy setup. As you can see, I can even adjust the angle, but this is kind of risky if your laptop does not stick it, stick it on with the silicone foot. But my laptop does, and it's not a heavy laptop. It's 14 inch laptop. I can handle even this. So what other scenarios we can use? It? Let me just show you. As a professional photographer myself, I always shoot product photos, okay? Let me just show you something like this. Let's just think about it. This is just rocks, quartz rocks, to regulate the magnetic fields around me. This is not an aesthetic purpose, but useful purpose to me. So let's just think this is a jewelry, okay? I put it on and I take my professional camera which I already have in this situation. I take my Sony 6400. Right now, don't laugh. This is a kit lens, so it, it will not look cool, but you can use true macro lens. If I want to shoot product photography, I can adjust my lights like professional softbox and lights, and I can move it. Like if I'm standing here, I prepped all the lights. Okay. I need to shoot the product, right? I can shoot it. I click the shot, take the shot. And then I just want to move the product's angle. But I want to keep the lights in the same spot. To do this, I will have to move the lights, move the products, touch the product, and also give, uh, left some fingerprints. If it's a, a concave surface, like a curved surface, and also something shiny, like a watch, like a, a spoon, like anything reflective, I can put my uh, fingertips so I can create fingerprints on it. I don't want to touch the product because it's a very close up shot. What do I do? I do this. I just rotate the product. Lights are in the same spot. I can shoot it. And then I move it around. I can shoot another angle. I can even create another tripod. I can shoot 360 product photos without any kind of motors or engines, just rotating the same thing, shooting with the same angle, keeping the lights same. So it's quite difficult for a professional photographer. Probably people with photography businesses understand me. This will make things quite easier and it can handle 10 kilos. This is a quite large uh, setup. And if you don't, have you know the space for it like if you have bigger items but less than 10 kilos five kilos but the item size is big so you can put something on this because this is a sturdy item you can extend it like probably 50 to 50 centimeters create a table kind of stuff anywhere you go this is i think very advantageous thing for professional photographers without changing the light you keep the distance of the lights, distance of the softbox in the same time. But I don't want to focus on too much photography here. You heard me with a couple of scenarios. You can put your projection on it directly or with a console. You can put your projection and you're good to go. You can create angles for your projection up top or down below. And if you have like short throw projections, this is also important for projection things because this, this is the main purpose, like focused purpose of this product, but you can change the use scenarios. And if you have any use scenarios for this product, just let us know by the comment section below, because this is a strong stuff. So let me just tell you, ultra short throws are quite close to the screen, to the wall. 
But what if you have an ultra short throw projection, but if you don't have a TV unit, you have to use some sort of furniture. But what if you, what if your furniture is very short and you need to be a little higher? So you can put the legs in and create some sort of a 50 centimeter height tripod and you can put any angle to it if you like it and you can put it close to the wall without any furniture at all. So one other thing is if you have a short throw projection, short throw projections have like distance like one meter, okay? Like let's call it like one meter, one and a half meter for this distance to this screen. This is a three meter professional screen. And if I, if I need to position my projection one meter, what do I put it on? Because in one meter distance from a wall, you probably don't have any furniture, just maybe little accessories or uh, whatnot. But height cannot be adjustable for many of the furniture that you have. So if you want to just project little upside because you want to not be straight from the down, if you make it like this, it won't be maybe the same angle that you watch. So if you move it around, you can move it with this projector setup. Reason that I'm telling you these angles matter truly if you want to catch the perfect image quality. One other thing is the most important thing for me. It's the regular products in the market. Let me just show you. This is triple the price of this product. And the build quality is near awful. I will show it to you. They come with this black cloth kind of thing, which is, you can find it inside the boxes when they fr products fresh, uh, freshly comes like a motherboard or any kind of electronic products, some sort of a wrapper or protector surface. And there's a reason for that. So I will take it off. I can only take it off like this because there is no head. So I can't make any angles. This tripod needs to be straight, which I will show it to you in a second. Just wait. This takes time. Bad things, bad design takes time. The middle section is half the size of our product, maybe even less. And also they used punches to create some sort of design element, which is not useful at all and looks ugly which I will show you in a second. Just look at this. They put three holes into center just to put things, put this thing in a hold. So you need a hole, you need to cover it. This is the reason why they put it. So one other problem is the screw is not standard one in a quarter inch style like any tripod should. This is like a bowl head joint screw size, one size bigger. Professional photographers will know this. If you purchase a bowl head or separate head for your tripod uh, from the connection section, there is another big hole. So this is not compatible directly. You need to purchase an adapter for screw. You can make it happen, but you need extra cost and you need to know which things to buy. And also this is wobbly. The paint is not quality enough. This is what you can find in the market. So I will throw this tray away. And this is the tripod they give it to you. It's awfully light and the legs are fixed. So it needs to go only straight surfaces and some sort of a rug, some sort of uh, like a bump, any kind of thing will prevent this to be straight fully positioned. And the height level, this is a bad tripod, actually. I'm right now I'm showing the tripod settings, but this is a bad tripod. Let's just turn this up. The plastic quality is quite low. And the height adjustment, when you get it higher from this level, as you can see, the main bar is quite small. And these rail systems or rolling up and down is not fast. Like if I put it, it doesn't even turn. Or the, with the weight, it is, but it's kind of sucks. And also if I need to install one last thing and it's, it's the quite biggest problem. If I close it, if I just make things right, okay. 
So you sometimes you have a furniture in the front. Right now we have tri three legs as a tripod does, but let's just think about this. Three legs for the position of your furniture, it needs to be, let's just say like this. I put it like this and then I need to install it on. I need to put it like this, be carefully. I need to look where I, what I do. And then I start to turn it around and well, it turned around, but it turned around awfully weird because it's not my angle and I can't exactly measure the angle. Let's just take a look at the legs. Legs is the same angle right now. Look at my tray, where my tray is. This is an awful setup. So you can't put it in the right angle. You need to turn the tripod. But whatever happens, if you hit a furniture, like my setup, it's awful, difficultly awful to place. And if I need to turn the angle, how do I do that? Like, okay, if you're a straight position, okay, I mentioned it in my earlier videos, you need to put an angle to your projector, left or right. Sometimes you have to do it. How do I do it? This head, there is no head and I can't turn it. So I need to unscrew it or overscrew it. You know what I mean by now, just push it harder. So either I hurt the device and when I get back, it will be a little bit of wobbly like this. And also legs are quite light. These are the problems you will have with the tripod trays or the stands or the projector in projectors in the market. What our product does is solving all those problems into a single one. I just take the click, one click. I take this out and I bring it with me anywhere I like. That's how simple it is. The only thing that you have to look out for, how much weight you are going to put it on and the tripod. This tripod is quality Flick SH736HD uh, head, which is a flute cinema head. And also the Slick 5000, I remember, Pro 5000X, oh, sorry, 500DX. So I will put the links down below. You can purchase this tray and forget about anything else. You will find the description and the product links at the down below, and you can purchase this product without any doubt. And this is the first product and I'm quite happy with it. And I have solved, I think my nearly all my problems with the setup that I, that I already paid for. And I've been using this and I've been hating this. So I created this and hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have liked the videos that I created for tutorials for home cinema, and if you want more solutions, more products, they are coming. I'm designing all the way. And let me know what you think. And if you have ideas, share them with me. Maybe we will create your imagination, imagined product, and it becomes real. Maybe you would like to purchase later on or tell your friends your ideas how it became real. Hope to see you in the next video, Home Cinema and Tech Review. Bye.